Hi guys, something else that I'm gonna put in my bash RC personal and that is HRC personal. So it follows the video I just made about spark lines and that's this little thing. If I press Ctrl T, have XLS that I've created. Yes, I know XLS, right? But this is Exa LS and XLL that came from the spin-off from Arch Linux, right? So what happening? Pseudo Pacman minus S. I'm basically on ZSH, hence the colors. Exa. So that's installed. It's not gonna go on our systems, but it's gonna go on my Arclix Nemesis, right? Uh, expand your knowledge. Don't stick what we give you. It's already a lot that we give you, but even then you can expand more uh, your horizon with installing more um, applications and, and configs and so on. So from time to time, I do spend some time in investigating some new stuff. So XLL knew about EXA, but um, now thanks to Arch on Linux, I have two nice codes. And this is the code I'm gonna put in my, well actually, I can better go to Sublime Text. Uh, let's see where it is open. Nope, 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 nope. It's gonna be here. And that's not the one I want. Oh yeah, it's not, it has not been opened yet with this close all files. So, bash RC personal, whoop, there it goes. And this is the code. So XLS is exa minus a icons color always group directories first result xls so x stands for exa and ls is the list give me the list this is our normal list and this is the xls and this is ll and this is xls xll and it's a little bit different and i'll just keep it around not in the distro, not in Arclix, but just on my personal Bash RC or the personal ZS ZSHRC. And here we see the octal permissions. So we know immediately, oh, that is executable with a coloring reference. It's interesting, right? I know LL is doing the same thing, but then with less colors. So might be educational for people to have a look, okay, that's readable, that's writable, that's executable. First three, user, second three, group, and the others. Remembered with the first name, Hugo, right? Hugo Klaus and so many other persons who are named Hugo, scrap the H and you got user, group, and others. All right, another thing to experiment with. Cheers.